All right, yes, you're welcome back to the Balanced Diet of Teletainment. Uh, hope so you enjoy the news review we'll give you, the news headline we'll give you. And of course, the cadre guest will not get inside the studio. Right about now, we'll get another cadre guest. No, he said we're inside the political season. And the political arena, they get different, different people from all walks of life, uh, from different parties, from the new part, new generation parties to even some of the old generation parties. But today in particular, we get a very, um, a first one will not say this will be the first time we'll see him inside our studio. He's been with us a couple of times, but this time around, he has his own, um, and political motives for being inside the studio with us. You're going to need to help us make welcome one of the aspirants for inside the 2019 political arena. We get Chris David with us in the studio. Good morning, Mr. Chris. Good morning, my sister. Good morning, my country people. Good morning. Good to have you in the house. Now, we don't get lots of presidential aspirants. Uh, we don't come outside and indicate their interest in making Nigeria better. Nigerians never see you before. They never know anything about you. Tell us about um, you. Make we know you. Well, it is not true that uh, Nigerians not know me. I day around. I'm one of the expert in policies analysis. Uh, people don't see me for TV. And I, I also be lecturer. I don't teach so many people. I can say between 99 to date, I've, I don't teach more than 1 million people when don't pass through my tutelage. And I also conduct corporate trainings. Most of the people when you see for all these Ministry of Finance and all these states, internal revenue and all that, that me, I they coach them. Most of the chairmen now, when the chairman of states, internal revenue, uh, directors, you know, that me, they tell them what to do. So I day around. So this time around, you see, um, the country for over 50, eight years now, we've been trapped in a circle of failures. And we need experts, not politicians this time around. We need experts that knows exactly how to fix the problem of, of this country. That's why some of us, that we not do the circle of politics as they talk, decide to come out. Now, um, speaking fixed. about speaking about fixing the nation and fixing the economy, because I did read one of your one of the things where your party and you yourself the support, or mm. one of the ideology when I get now creating equality and prosperity mm. uh, amongst all Nigerians. Now, if we look equality for inside Nigeria and prosperity, if we look at waiting the UNESCO or the UN nation, they come as I talk. They're talking about how Nigerians are dying daily. In fact, three thousand Nigerians, according to what they get from the daily report, um, they talk say three thousand Nigerians daily are dying from hunger. Now, we even get information just yesterday from one of the international bodies. The Commonwealth side talks about the year 2050, Nigeria and Congo, Nigeria will get over 70% um, the highest poverty or the poor people mm. will go there around this world, will actually day for inside this country. If we they talk about equality, prosperity, and we haven't talked about how to make sure say, these people, mm. us, me, you, you, mm. never get food for inside our body, how that vision will your party get, will you get concerning equality, could be achievable? Okay, make I explain what equality means. Eh? Equality simply means that there are, you have right to certain things. One of them is said right to life, right to pursue happiness, then right to quality food and clean water. You know, so many of them like that, right to quality health, then right to education. Those are the things we are talking that my party will bring on board. So all these international bodies, the UNESCO, the Transparency International, all of them, there are two things. When you even talk about the uh, sustainable development goals, there are two things that they pursue. One is the sustenance of life. The second thing is how to enhance the quality of life. So when we talk about equality, you, you talk about how to eradicate poverty and hunger. Those are some of the two cardinal um, goals that uh, sustainable development goal they talk about. And those are the things we've captured in our manifesto. That if given the chance, this is how Nigerian will be. This is our agenda. The first thing we need to do is that we need to make Nigeria that country that is the land for opportunity, not land for the opportunist 
because that is what we have now. Few people that are less than 1%, in fact, they are less than 0.5%, just decide to capture everything that belongs to everyone, and they, they are using it for themselves. But we, we decided to say, okay, we will come out, young professionals, my party is made of young professionals, lawyers, accountants, engineers, we come together, think of this thing, brainstorm, and we don't identify nine different areas that we need to tackle and make this country that enviable country that everybody would be happy to live in. Now, you come as I talk something with a strike, and you talk, say, you don't know, train a lot of um, policy makers for inside the Obodo Nigeria, and a lot of Nigerians go argue, say, what has training got to do with ruling a country and bettering our economy? Because according by World Bank report about countries doing business, the documents has ranked Nigeria about 125th for inside the list. So mm. what thing you go do to actually better the economy of Nigeria? Now, talking about ranking, all the international indices, Nigeria is not doing well. Let me also tell you one. There is also one, another ranking they call Fragile State Index. Nigeria is number 14. That is, it's just in your three, 13 countries as failed states. So Nigeria is actually a failed state. So talking about the economy, in our manifesto, and even my book, which I call smart government, there's what we call economic freedom. So we are promising Nigeria economic freedom. But how well do you know about <clears throat> the economy? How well? Yes. And that's what I'm going to tell you now. Now, today we talk about GDP. People talk about GDP, GDP, which talks about the... What's the Mexico? Yeah, place? you understand? Talk about the level of production. So only one person, for example, Dangote now, if they produce, and by the time they look at that, they ah, Nigeria is working well. But the specific things we need to look at, which we've captured in our manifesto, is that one is interest rate. No country prospers with the level of interest we have in Nigeria. So one of the things we must tackle in Nigeria is that interest rate. And we are going to do it. In fact, our objective is that the interest rate in Nigeria must be single digit. For every, so when you have interest rate that is single digit, you discover that companies will be able to get loans and expand their businesses. And when you expand your business, what happens? You employ people. You employ people that will increase the disposable income that will, they will have. And when they have en en enough uh, money, they will consume. When you consume, it gives rise to value added tax. So, Government too will be getting money. And when you pay people salary, they will pay tax in the form of a personal income tax. So it's a circle. But you need to understand how it operates. But what we have today now is that you have a sector which is the financial service industry. The focus is how to make more from Nigeria. And that's why you see that in Nigeria today, the banking sector they will be declaring huge profits. But that huge profit does not have impact in the general economy. Hmm. So what you need to do first is that you look at, you position that financial service industry strategically. And the focus is how do we grow other sectors? Now, with the way they talk and with the level, with, with, um, with what you're saying, it can't be like, say, um, there are other places where you feel they actually equally relevant. But which political party do you represent at this point in time? Uh, they represent liberation movement. Now, the liberation movement. Now, speaking about the liberation movement and the role where they play, people, they come outside, they ask, say, why you not start from different places and then gradually create those changes where they talk about, if not the financial sector where you want lead or whichever sector, even if you want to start from Chiamo level, Waka Ridge governor, governorship level, why you don't start from any of those levels, then gradually create the impact and that change before you rise to the very top. The difference between us and those people when be the players now, you see, they be vocational politicians. I am a visionary leader. Uh, they uh, are transactional. So a visionary leader no fit to be a governor for any of the states? Yes, if you be a governor, mm -hmm. but the, where you need to make the right impact, you understand? The impact you need to make, and it affects the whole nation. That is what, there are other, what, uh, we have people in different states that are going for governorship positions. All, every other, we are contesting all the positions that are available in 2019. And everybody 
in our party is a professional. So the fact that I am going to the top does not mean that we don't have other people. Because all these things we are the talk. So we now wait till we don't sit down, discuss them. You understand? So that's that's that is so it's not does not mean that we I not me alone just I I totally understand. Mm -hmm. Now very nice that we don't get with you. I know say if we keep you from now to tomorrow, you get a lot to talk about the Nigeria economy. But you can follow him on top of Instagram, um in Dede, Chris David. On top of Instagram, he actually did it. In a futurist, tax expert, financial expert, forensic expert, and a development economist. And in the run for the president's seat come 2019. After the final declaration, we will definitely need to get you back in our studio to talk more concerning your agenda. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very Thank much that you join us. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonge videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.